I got involved uh, when I was mayor of Apex. I was executive director of the Wake County Law and Justice Committee. It was formed primarily to help law enforcement. And uh, I served as executive director of it for a couple of years and uh, really saw the need of uh, some of the things that that were needed in law enforcement. And I, I think that's craved my interest. And then, of course, when, when we got interested in the correctional market, uh, I saw that uh, we could have an influence. We started out in the back of a barbershop with myself and my brother working in a like, little 15 by 20 room. And uh, we've grown to be the largest uh, distributor of correctional products in the world, really. We used to go into jails and uh, try to sell them things like toothbrush and toothpaste and shampoo, and, and people would almost laugh at us at saying, uh, what do you think this is, a holiday inn? <laughs> but when you was, used to go to jail in the 60s or 70s, uh, if you didn't have somebody to bring you underwear or toothbrush or toothpaste, you didn't get it. And it helped us really uh, be able to influence the type of things that, that went into jails because we did a tremendous amount of experimentation keeping dangerous things out of the jail in the sense of where they can make a weapon out of it or keeping drugs out of jail and, and things like this. Visiting these jails uh, through the years, and I probably have been to more jails than almost anybody in the country because it was, used to be a constant thing that I was, uh, I have seen days that I have been in many as 10 to 15 jails in one day. We traveled up and down the East Coast uh, just visiting jail administrators and really finding out what jails really needed. You have a little better perspective of, of how may, you might help solve these problems. And that has been our, our whole theme uh, from the beginning. The success of almost any company is you find a need and you fill it. And that's what we did in the jail business when we started. If you want to get something done, and no matter what it is, uh, if you got passion about it, you'll figure out a way to do it. And uh, I have been passionate about this business ever since I started. I look forward to coming to work every day. and. Uh, and I want people to know what Bob Barker stands for. We've seen the change that, and I credit the AJA on this, that they have brought such professionalism to jails than what it used to be. When I started, it was the sheriff would always put his worst people in the jails to operate. And now, nowadays, it's just the opposite. He puts his best people in the jails. AJA has brought about a lot of education, a lot of training, a lot of camaraderie uh, among themselves and, and really improved the character and the ability of people to carry out their duties in a jail today. Your banquet is the proudest moment for me when I see those people that receive these honors and uh, what it means to them and what it means to me and anybody else that cares about 